Hey everybody and welcome to DC Fine Art. Today we are doing the Powerful Packs June 2023 review. So this will be the first review that we'll be going through. So I'll basically be going over what they gave me in the box for this month in June. And then I will be either doing color swashes or just trying out the product and also reading about what um, basically what they gave me on some of the product details. So I'll be going over that with you guys. And then on the next video will be the final review where I will be going over, basically I'll be doing a speed painting with the supplies that was in the powerful pack box. And then I will be basically going over a final review. So I'll be letting you know about anything that I find wrong with the product or anything that I find fantastic about the product product. I will let you know at the end of the speed painting. So yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into the video of the June 2023 Powerful Pack Box. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, so now here is the June 2023 Powerful Packs box opening, and this will be the first review. Um, let me go ahead and get this open, which I had already opened. Opening the box. This is the one I'm super excited about. I guess you can see like little things in here. So let's go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff I got and the powerful packs box. So they gave us graphics aqua ink and it's by Marabu. So it says graphics. There's the gold. So they gave me a gold, which is really gorgeous. If you can see that shine on it, it's beautiful. Now we got Aqua Ink Graphics Marabou. And this one here is the copper. Let me show that one. Just a beautiful, beautiful tone. Oh, look at there. We got some Posca markers or some Posca paint pens. It says soft colors and they're called Posca water base. They're eight colors and it comes with light pink, coral, pink, lavender, sunshine yellow, apricot, aqua green, light blue, and then white. So beautiful, beautiful. And then it shows the instructions to shake and press and paint and then snap your lid back on. So it says here, gives a brilliant color finish to most art, craft, and hobby materials. Fade and water resistant. So, awesome. Woohoo, set of eight. I like that. All right, let's get some of this fluff out of the way. Some of this yellow fluff, which is really, really pretty. Looks like sunshine in a box. And we got a Posca sticker. So instead of sticking like their normal... Um, Powerful pack sticker. I think I had the one from last month still here. I think he's so cute. This is the one from last month and it says powerful packs creativity in a box and it's just simply cute as a little button even though he does kind of look like um, to me he looks like a little chocolate chip cookie but he looks happy anyway. So they went ahead and gave us a Posca sticker. So cool cool. Not for sure where I'll put it but um I like stickers. I know my daughter loves stickers too, so she'll enjoy stickers. She'll take any stickers. And so here, I actually need to get her like a sticker book. That would be really, really nice to have like a little sticker book so she can stick her stickers in it. Um, here is a number five round. And this here is by Richard um, or Robert Simmons acrylic brush. So really super nice. Okay, looks like they gave us kind of like a sample little um, canvas board here, a little square. So they're working with squares. And I think you guys see what's underneath there. Maybe you do, maybe the reflections get into it. But I have always been wanting to try this paper. I seen it was new and it came out and then I forgot about it. But I was really, really surprised and super excited to see the black black. And this is Fabriano. So the Fabriano black black this here measures at 20 by 20 centimeters. So, super cool. So we get to see what happens 
Oh my god, I am super excited about this paper. Still nice and wrapped in the plastic, and they did a very good job. So they really did an amazing job with this colorful pack box, and I can't wait to try out the products in a speed painting. Super excited. So I'm going to go ahead and close this box, kind of get it out of the way. I'm going to put what they gave us in front of me, in front of me, if I can talk. Okay, so here is, yeah, I'm going to put that there. Just put that there. There we go. So this here was the Powerful Packs June 2023 and I also wanted to pull up some of the things that we can kind of read on that powerful packs usually gives you so um, online they end up putting basically a see if I can get to it real quick you know usually I have these things already ready for you guys and every time I get to it I'm like okay I forgot so, basically, when you go online, they have, um, let's see here, shop by spouse's review, powerful packs. Okay. Let's see if I can't, I can't believe I cannot find it. Usually I'm on the ball with this, but what they usually send is a, there it is. Okay. June, 2023 Posca. Okay. So what they send, and I'm going to show you my little, my broken phone. <laughs> it's the cover is like all shattered, but it'll be okay. So the powerful pack from your pack, they'll, show you like June 2023 they're doing Posca and so they'll tell you about each and every item kind of give you a little description of it then they'll give you the price uh, MSRP price that um, you would pay for these items then on powerful packs they'll end up telling you or showing you how to maybe hashtag them whenever you do a uh, painting and you can hashtag your painting so that way they can Basically, you can show it to them, and they can probably put your artwork out there for people to see. Um, Powerful Pack also has prompts each month. So if you're kind of like, okay, I don't know what to do this month. I don't know what kind of theme. I just need some creative ideas. They give you four creative ideas that you can use with your Powerful Packs. So this month's um, creative ideas are prompt number one, fruit. So doing something with a fruit. Uh, prop number two is a beautiful view. So anything with a beautiful view. Prop number three, jewelry. Prop number four, a mushroom. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> it really does sound like fun. So, I mean, it's super nice that they give you um, those little things just to kind of help you out. Let's see here. So I'm going to go ahead and read through some of these items that they gave us and just kind of read on them for you. Let you know a little bit about them. So, I didn't mean to take a screenshot. Gosh, it's so easy to do that with my phone. It's crazy. Okay. So, the Posca paint marker set of eight. It says, are you ready to work with one of the best and most versatile markers on earth? Posca is a paint marker popular with the artists and creative hobbyists. An essential took for the creation and self-expression it is used by professionals and amateurs every day on all types of materials. We highly encourage you to visit the POSCA's website to explore all the various ways people uh, use these markers. We'll see here. The non-toxic and water-based opaque paint covers, or covers well, sorry, is blendable, dries quickly, and can be overlaid when dry. You can use these markers on paper, board, wood, fabric, glass, ceramic, plastic, metal, minerals, and canvas. The MSRP on these are $34.95. So super, super nice. Okay, so now we're looking at the Marabou 
metallic and pearl scent aqua inks and they're a set of two so these here which i like to read about i've never seen these graphic or graphic aqua inks are versatile and highly pigmented watercolor inks for fine art and mixed media use them as full strength for bright vivid tones or blend with water for softer hues and gradations or gradation i guess gradation aqua inks can be reworked even after they dry create beautiful watercolor effects with brushes sponge or sponges or even dip pens shake vigorously before use the msrp on these are three dollars and 59 cents and you know what i kind of went ahead and looked them up and yeah that's about what the price is whenever i looked them up online so they hit that right on the dot okay so they didn't okay they haven't gone with the canvas panel but they're going to the frabiano black black and this is an eight by eight or a 20 by 20 centimeter so eight inch by eight inch or a 20 by 20 centimeter this Fabriano black black pad features a slick ultra black cover and a burnished tone on tone painting. The pad is glued on top and include include a 20 sheet include 20 sheet of 140 pound paper. A versatile weight to maximize its use. The product or this product is characterized by an extremely deep black color. Thanks to the high quality and light fast pigments that are used for its production. MSRP on it is $16.60. So super, super nice. I can't wait to see that. We need to open that. I, I will actually open that for you guys. <laughs> so the canvas panel, which is basically just a regular canvas panel. It doesn't have any kind of marker on it showing that it's, I don't know what brand. So we will read. It says this unbleached three ounce cotton is primed with acid-free acrylic titanium gesso to a finished weight of eight ounces and wrapped around an acid-free recycled paperboard core. MSRP $2.69, but it does not state what brand or who made it. So we are still in the unknown twilight zone on it. We don't know who basically who you belong to. We don't know who you belong to, but at least we know what you're made of. So then we're going to the synthetic round brush. Always love brushes. I've been doing paintings lately, so definitely can use these. I've been collecting them. And basically it doesn't say anything about the brush, but we do know it is a size five round Robert Simmons acrylic brush. Um, it does say that the MSRP on it is $8. For this one brush which i would figure that it would talk i mean you don't really need i guess you it'd be nice to have a little information on the brush it kind of feels lonely that it doesn't get talked about a lot okay so now that we read that we kind of went through some of the powerful pack prompts that we can do i don't know i'm, I'm kind of iffy i like the mushroom kind of idea but then again the good view or the pretty view that's a nice one Let's go ahead and open this so that way we can see it. I'm opening this for the first time for you guys. All right. It's so pretty. Love this that away my trash cans on the other side oh I really do like the way this looks this is so pretty they had it plastic wrapped too so it's like super nice looks like a little mark across there but I mean we're gonna be doing artwork about it or with it so let's see oh cool so when you open this up it actually has got a perforated edge right there or not a perforated edge but more of a creased edge so that way it's easy to bend it over And it's kind of at a little bit of a slant, so that way your water, I guess it would be kind of tapered downward. But yeah, it's got a little crease right there. And then you have your own little homemade easel. 
or a little level so that way you're kind of painting at an angle. Looks like it's not sealed all the way around, so there's no binding on this. I'm not for sure how um, it holds up to, I mean, it doesn't even say watercolor paper. Even though it does say that it can use it for watercolor and everything else. Well, it says drawing paper. Interesting. But it's like 140 pounds. Whoa. Huh. I'm going to look at that one more time for you guys, just to make sure. And that's if you're interested um, in, like, you're wanting to purchase maybe this paper and you want to give it a shot. Um, the Fabriano Black and Black pad features a slick ultra black cover and a burnished tone on tone painting. The pad is glued on top. The pad is glued on top and include 20 sheets of 140 pound paper, versatile weight to maximize use. This product is characterized, but I'm stuttering, by an extremely deep black color, thanks to the high quality and light fast pigments they are used for its production. So <clears throat> it doesn't say that it's a watercolor paper. On the front, it's saying it's a drawing paper. It is a pretty thick paper that honestly, it feels like a watercolor paper, but it does not say it's a watercolor paper. Not for sure how that is going to take on everything whenever we try some of these things. Not for sure how it's going to work. So, I would like to do maybe a couple of swashes. I'm going to put this aside. And I went ahead and took a sheet of my... I do believe it's my... I don't even know if it's watercolor honest stone edge colors um drawing techniques this is definitely so i don't know if that's actually meant for watercolor to be honest maybe we shouldn't try it on something that's not meant, I mean, meant for watercolor let's put that back and let's give it a shot let's use these stonehenge black i mean i guess i could just rip one of those pages out you know what let's do that I just hate tearing out a page out of my brand new book. I was wanting to do the first page on this to actually be my speed painting on, but might as well. Let's go ahead and try this. So I'm going to take that page out. Let's set this aside. And we're going to try some of this. Now these aren't supposed to be it says that you can go directly on the paper. With these and we shook really good on these, I think. So I'm going to try and open this it isn't too bad. So there's some gold. Bad part is if I ended up Accidentally knocking one of these jars over. Oh my goodness. I'll be over there. Okay, speed painting is tonight. Let's see how fast we can paint this before I have to clean it up. <laughs> so let's do like a little dip of the brush. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. I'm not supposed to be painting. No speed painting right now. So I don't know why I just did that. It's like I already had an idea. Let's just do like little trees. That is very, very pretty. All right, well, that is very pretty, too. And it's very opaque. I mean, it really shows up very, very nicely on this paper. So I'm kind of curious. Let's just let that dry. And then when it dries, let's try and go over that. I'm going to shine this up closer to you guys so you can see it. Those are really, really pretty colors. It is very iridescent. They are gorgeous. So let's put these lids back on so I don't spill them. 
and whenever it dries, I'm going to try going back over it with the um, with some water on my brush and see how it reworks. And these are supposed to be like an ink. So pretty cool. Okay. So we are going to try out some of these Posca markers. And I mean, of course, with this being wet too, it didn't really bow up, so that's pretty nice. So I'm going to shake these pins. And then I'm going to push because you're supposed to push it until it comes out. Oh, there we go. And that's the one thing that I had trouble with before. I'm guessing I'm going to have to do it on a separate piece of paper. But... I ended up having a bunch of ink spill out. Whenever I did that. So to try and avoid having a puddle like that, like I just did, I would suggest doing the start out with these things. I'm gonna put that lid back on a separate piece of paper. Kind of like, I guess, my water or my paper over here. So let's do the yellow. Looks like whenever it's starting to dry, though, it's getting a little bit more opaque than it was when it was really wet. So we got the yellow coming out. You can feel that the paper kind of softens underneath, so you got to be careful. Okay, let's try this one here. This one here is the apricot. Shaking up the pen, really, really good. And then I'm just going to kind of dab on the paper until it comes out. And now let's do another swatch of this. It's a very pretty color. I like this apricot. See, it would help. I mean, it helps me out, too, is because that last review that I've ever done on a Posca marker, it was a white one, and I tried it out, and it ended up puddling everywhere, and then it wouldn't stop, and I just don't think I was, maybe, either it was a defective one, I wasn't for sure, but then the, um, It kept on puddling, so I didn't really care for it too much, just for the fact that I was, I guess I was unable to use it without it just leaking out. I mean, it got to a point, I think it was actually dripping out, and then I got the lid on, luckily, and then after that I just kind of put it away and didn't want to see it again. <laughs> it's like, okay, if you're not going to be nice to me, I just want to put you in a little drawer and just think about you whenever I see you but I don't want to take you out and then open up a lid and paint starts pouring out. But these here, which are the same, I think they're the same ones. Yeah, when you push on it, it does have a, like a puddle comes out. But now I'm able to use them. And... Just kind of get the feel of them with them actually working properly. So I think I just had a defective one. Because I am absolutely loving I'm really liking how these are turning out. They're really, really cute. Um, they do when they dry. The black kind of comes through just a little bit. So it does dry out to where it's, you can kind of see the black kind of coming through. 
which I'm not for sure if you can layer this up. I don't think it'll come off if you layer it up, which that might be an option to go back over it again, and then it shouldn't be no, no black showing up. This is a gorgeous color. Wow, that is simply beautiful. These colors are gorgeous. I think my favorites right now are the pink, the purple, and the, what is this one? Coral. Pink, purple, and coral are my favorites so far. And I'm absolutely loving these, so I am just tickled to death over this box. And just to think, next month in July, I'll be doing a review and the review is basically going to be a review, but also um, I got some other boxes or whatever it is to kind of show, um, do a comparison. But I'm sorry, I, I absolutely, right now, as I know, I've been getting powerful packs boxes for some time, and I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I don't get no discounts for this or nothing. Um, I do this just because... I wanted to get a subscription box, and it was one of the first subscription boxes I've gotten, but I absolutely love their products. I love, you know, the cost of it is not as bad as some of the other boxes that I've seen, so I mean, very, I mean, it's reasonable, and you get really nice product. I mean, this right here is just simply amazing to be able to get these Posca pen or markers, and you get a whole set of eight. The blue one's gorgeous, by the way. So, I mean, you get some really, really nice stuff. I mean, it's high quality stuff, and that's what I like. So, they do an amazing job. To me, personally, I think it's going to be a hard one to beat. Like, my, my opinion is like, okay, you know, I'm going to leave an open mind, but... Pelical packs, in my opinion, is definitely a hard one to beat. And that's just my opinion only. I know I've only gotten Pelical pack boxes, but I absolutely love them. And I really, really like this box. Look at how gorgeous that is. What is this one? This one looks like that matches my studio here. Aqua Green. Now those are the colors that we got in the powerful pack boxes. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And look at the shine on that. Okay. I think it is, I don't know if that's dry or not. I don't wanna to touch that. But these here are dry. That's our aqua ink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and test it by getting me a damp wet brush, kind of soaking up some of the water so that way I'm not getting it everywhere. I'm going to turn this upside down. Why? Because I do not want to stick my hand right in the paint. But um, we're going to try. Wow, that was really instant. Trying to rework the color. Oh, yeah. It's very, very easy to just rework this color. It instantly starts. I mean, it instantly starts dissolving. And there's no, there's no left behind. So it literally... I mean, I could keep going like this, and I bet we would almost have, like, all black paper again. I wonder if we can do that. Let's see if we can lift it. Paper dries pretty quick. That's amazing. It really does lift off there pretty good. So no stain marks, like as far as seeing the shape still, 
yeah, there's a little bit there, which all I had to do is run some more water over it. And you can basically almost turn this back to black. So that's some um, really, really water soluble paint. Let's see if the gold doesn't act any different. Sometimes I've heard people say that gold may act different in some things. So we're just going to try it out and see if it does. And I can already tell you, it does not. It instantly starts dissolving and you can rework it completely. So you don't have to worry about there being stains or anything. I mean, it seems to come off on this black paper at least. Yeah, you're able to rework that and almost completely wipe it off. But it's a very beautiful color. Oops, looks like I already made a mess. Oh, that's because I put it on that. I don't think that there was supposed to be uh, water soluble. So best be getting that off my desk. And I think I got it on my hands somewhere. Maybe I thought I did. I'm always making messes, so I gotta check it out. Hmm. See where I hurt myself, dude. All right, so I think um, pretty much that's it. Yeah, I didn't get it on my hand. It was the table. Now that I think about it, but yeah. Um, as far as this first review goes, I absolutely love the colors. The colors of the Posca markers are absolutely beautiful for this set of eight. Um, the paper seems to be really nice. It actually did not really warp that bad, and I added quite a bit of water to that. It kind of went up just a little bit, but none of the other did anything. So maybe just a little bump right there where it sucked in or came up, maybe a little bit with the water right in this little area. But other than that, the rest of it stayed flat. So I'm kind of impressed with that, uh, not just being a drawing paper, it did really, really well. So all in all, I am pretty excited about these colors. I am excited about doing a speed drawing on these. So that way I can kind of test the product out a little in depth by doing an actual painting for you guys. And then at the end, I will give my final review. So it'll be the last thing that I do. If anything comes up during that speed painting that frustrates me or, you know, or something that's super, super great that I found out at the that I actually really, really love, I will let you know at the end of that speed painting. So, yeah, um, pretty much this wraps up this video. And just remember, hit like and subscribe. Definitely helps your channel. And I'll see you next time on the final review of the June 2023 powerful pack box. See you all next time. Bye you guys.